Um, yeah, man, it's been a while. Uh, I got my wisdom teeth taken out on Monday, so... My nerve lips are frozen. It is a perfect oh time God. to start this coding. Is funny. Oh. My face is still a little bit like fat, swollen, doesn't look as bad anymore, but I've been working on a lot over the past month. New things that I haven't done before. I figured this is the perfect way to tell you to talk to you guys about the reality of programming. Dude, my throat, I feel like my throat's kind of messed up. Like it sounds weird. I probably probably shouldn't be making a video right now. Probably shouldn't be talking so much. I'm gonna start bleeding profusely out of my mouth here. Huh. Okay, I gotta turn into a badass programmer. <laughs> Okay, I got it. Uh, you can see our application is uh, is running here. If the views are less than the clickbait subscribers times the boobs, then we go into this loop, depending on how much money YouTube throws at our video, we get more views based on that as well. If there's more than 1.5 boobs in the thumbnail, then our YouTube algorithm becomes recursive and we are stuck getting views forever. We have our YouTube application here. You can see we're just printing all money. Oh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot one thing. If our clickbait has code in the thumbnail, the YouTube algorithm just gives us a few million views. Unfortunately, our clickbait is a number and it cannot be directly translated into words. So not many people understand what the thumbnail means, which kind of gives undefined results. Sometimes your tech videos will get a million views and sometimes they'll get no views. Sometimes it breaks the system. People expect like some sort of expert programmer he's gonna be like this badass guy who knows every language he doesn't have to think he just does it that is not how <laughs> that's not so this is the reality okay confusion frustration stack overflow you're constantly learning like everybody is, is a beginner at some layer of the stack this is this is technology stack so some people just focus on network programming and some people just work on operating system programming you know cloud computing some people just focus on the front end programming there is no programmer that knows everything man is being okay with the frustration and all of this stuff and the confusion that comes when you're programming uh, you know, I can I can tell you guys, but I really just want to show you through examples. A few months ago, I wanted to write this program that would automate part of my video editing process. I think I have like 10 hours of footage of me reading the documentation and being so confused. And I was like... Build your favorite new feature in the industry-leading editing software guide. Adobe Premiere Pro still using the drop shadow. I want to be able to organize my footage inside of the sequence, inside of the timeline. Plugin installation, Windows, Video right order. What really Custom is a memory reversals. problem? Okay, so what are we even looking for here is the question. I'm trying to do something pretty basic, I feel like. Uh, not what I'm looking for. None of these samples are like what I want to build. This guy goes, I am able to create sequence using script, but how can I import video clip to sequence using script? That's the same question I have. There's no publicly supported API to allow for that. This thing is 300 pages long and I can't put a video on the sequence. I'm not sure if this is illegal. Check out. What does the file actually look like right now? Like, I'm gonna have to decode the binary probably. Let's import one video and then we can save a second copy. I think what I can do is I can read out all this binary in into a program and then I can determine the changes between this file and this file. Like what binary has changed between the two files? What ones and zeros did they use to say that this pick that this is here? <laughs> Whew. What does this mean? Is there a way to add a new audio or video track into a sequence? The only way to do such a track insert requires the unsupported QE DOM ABI. Unsupported? That will change with our next major release. This is only a year ago. You should be able to add tracks using the unsupported and undocumented quality engineering sequence method add track. No. 
at this point, honestly, I want to make my own video editor. Because I'm so annoyed that I can't automate this. So I, I've since abandoned that project and I'm still just editing my videos. But what I really wanted to share with you guys is that like I've basically become a beginner in all of these topics. Something I've struggled with is trying to, I've been trying to do too many things. I'm a little distracted by batteries and I'm distracted by circuits. So part of me feels like, you know, I wish I specialized in something then I might get really good at it. I don't know. I hope this video made sense to you. I hope I didn't confuse you. Actually, I hope I did confuse you. I'm confused a lot of the time. <laughs> I'm confused right now. I don't know, man. It's it's just it's just cuz there's always new stuff that's being written, but I'm very confused. So I'm going to go to bed and maybe when I wake up tomorrow, I'll be less confused and then I'll go on my computer and get it confused again. So I'll see you all in the next video. Let me know what you think about confusion. Are you confused? For loop, if, if the for loop is for, I don't know.